All right, guys, welcome back. It's a beautiful morning out here. My name's Sandy. This is Sawing with Sandy. If you're brand new here, welcome aboard. If you're not, welcome back. Standing behind me here is my tractor. This is what I'm going to put into action here today. We stand back just a little bit. You're going to see an area I like to call the meadow. It's basically an opening surrounded by forest. This opening is going to get reclaimed from a meadow of ferns. You guys can sort of see the ferns still back there. So I'm going to reclaim it by more or less just going over and smoothing the soil here. So when spring rolls around, I can plant some grass seed down here and then I'll start cutting it with the lawnmower. What I'm going to do with the tractor, as I mentioned, is smooth things out. On the back here, I have my MK Martin box blade. Last time around, I mentioned it was 78 inches wide. This is actually 84 inches wide. And if you guys have a look at the tractor, the tractor is six feet wide. You guys can see how the box blade sticks out wider than it. I really like that, so I'm not having to, um, well, I'm not having to make more than one pass to cover my tire tracks. Uh, this more or less covers all of it in one go. Box blade on the back, how I have it set up here today, and this is an MK Martin unit, is I've got the box blade tilted back just a little bit. There's lots of roots and debris in the soil here, and so I don't want these to dig into it. What I want to have happen is I want these to just skim over the top. I want this set of blades, or blade, to just trim off the top of the soil, but I want this blade here on the back to do the majority of the work. So this will essentially be back dragging, and that's what I'm gonna to use to take down the high spots, move the soil just a little bit, and that will uh, set me up for my final passes, which I'm gonna use a ATB and a Harrow for. Another thing you'll see me using with the tractor is the float mode on the loader. If you don't know what that is, I can more or less just push the joystick for the loader control all the way forward, and that allows the loader to more or less move up and down with the contours of the ground. I find it really good if I'm doing some back dragging and it's not, you know, it's not too rough. I can set the bucket at a little bit of a tilt, put it in float mode, back up, and it'll more or less just pull some of the tops off and fill in some of the voids, the low spots. You'll be seeing me doing that here today. And one other thing I want to tell you guys about in terms of my setup here is my tires. Now these tires came standard on this tractor, just like many compact tractors. These are an industrial tire. These things work okay for most conditions, but I got to tell you, they're not the best for the dirt. Now, what's the best for the dirt? You guys would know it's agricultural tires, but for my situation, it's probably going to work okay because the soil is not too deep or too wet. But I can tell you when it gets wet out here, it gets muddy. Those things just sort of cake up with, with the mud and they don't grip quite as well. If you get a big haul of, of dirt in the back box blade and you're trying to move forward and pull, oftentimes that's where those things will start slipping. I don't know if you'll see that today because I don't plan on hauling a ton of dirt, but we'll find out. Anyways, let's get down to work. Glad you guys are all here. Here we go.
I don't know if that's necessary, but it sure is fun. And that's probably why I'm out here on that machine and I've got a helmet on this time around. You guys can see what a good job that Haro did on the ground. Now this is, uh, this is often not used for this. This is used for um, breaking up cow manure when you got a big pasture, but obviously it does double duty here. Except I don't exactly have cows, so it does single duty. It clears all my ground of all my lumps and bumps and makes things look nice and pretty. So I'd say that's a job well done out here today. I like ending off with a little bit of fun. I'm sure all you guys do as well. Hopefully, if you guys like this video, you'll give it the thumbs up. And if you haven't done so already, make sure you subscribe. Come on back next time. I got all kinds of stuff coming, including finishing that equipment shed. I'm heading back out to the bush. Got a few trees to fell. Uh, after they hit the ground, we'll winch them up to the sawmill, get them loaded, cut up to the equipment shed. Guys, thanks for watching. See you next time.